This short video shows how to connect treasure data to R to perform more advanced statistical analysis. We assume that you already have R installed on your computer and have signed up for treasure data. The first step is to download the JDBC driver. Please visit the URL on the screen and download treasure data's JDBC driver. Next, in your R environment, please download R's JDBC driver. Now the R JDBC package is installed. Let's load it into the current workspace. And let's instantiate the R JDBC driver. The second argument is the path to the treasure data JDBC jar that you just downloaded. Please change it according to your environment. Finally, let's connect to treasure data. Now the connection is established. The database that we're going to connect consists of minutely snapshots of Hacker News, a popular forum website. On Hacker News, visitors can up upvote and comment on submitted links. When a link is upvoted, it gains a point. Our data set is 5 million data points consisting of 150,000 snapshots of the front page. So let's compute the average number of comments and points on the front page broken, di broken down by hour. The query just ran. Let's see what the result set looks like. Let's plot the points and number of comments against hour of the day. The pink line is the number of points, and the blue line is the average number of comments. As you can see, the two seem to be very strongly correlated. Let's look at their scatter plot. Indeed, the points and comments follow an almost linear relationship. Actually, this is expected. If the forum is active, we expect there to be a lot of discussions as reflected by the number of, number of comments and a lot of upvotes as reflected by the number of points. Let's confirm this statistically by running a basic linear regression. Indeed, you can see that R squared value is almost one. This concludes this short tutorial video. To learn more about Treasure Data's integration with R, please visit the URL on the screen.